Hi, this is Peter at Bergsdorf Arcade at BergsdorfArcade.com and today we received our iMac that we purchased off of eBay. So we're going to open it up and take a look and see how it works. Now you notice I'm in the middle of rearranging everything here. It's a bit of a mess but I kind of wanted to hurry up and get this opened up before uh, I finished. So let's go ahead. we got the uh, little tiny knife here. I'm going to start cutting it open. Uh, there is, looks like the warranty information on top. So I'm just going to carefully cut that out. I never realized how ugly this chair actually looks, but it's comfy. And more importantly, it doesn't squeak when I move around when I'm creating tutorials. As opposed to my chair upstairs, it does squeak. So yes, this is just the information. Uh, if anyone's curious, I've got this iMac from a eBay company called Tarpon Technology Inc. And it's actually an older one, older uh, iMac. It's a G5, but it is a Core 2 Duo at 1.83 gigahertz. And it comes with two gigs of RAM, which is, I believe, the max for this model. Now, it is the white model, the one that was used for educational purposes. But since I'm only going to be using this to run the live stream off of, it should be more than powerful enough for me. All right, so we got that open. Close the knife so I don't take a finger off. I'm just going to spin this around a bit. And yes, I'm on my knees just so we can fit everything in camera. So let's just turn it around. You can see it comes packaged in a gray foam, it looks like. Uh, it's not the original packaging, obviously, but let's open it up. We'll take the two top pieces of foam off and let's see what's inside. Now I'm pretty sure it doesn't actually come with the operating system installed, but that's fine because I've got an extra copy of Snow Leopard and I'm going to try to put that on. Worst case scenario, I have an older copy of Tiger that I'm not using anymore and I'll just use that. So we'll open it up. Uh, here we have the keyboard and the mouse. I'm just going to rip that open. It's the older style keyboard. That's pretty heavy. I've never actually used the older style keyboards. And it's heavier than I thought it would be. Uh, it's clean, so that's good. <laughs> USB, so we'll just set that to the side. And it looks like we have one of the old mice. It's a corded mouse. I uh, probably won't use it. Uh, maybe. I believe I have an extra cordless mouse that I'll use. So it looks like it's the Apple Pro Mouse. Uh, I'm pretty used to my three button mice, so like I said, I probably won't use it, but worst case scenario, it's a backup. And as you can see, the cat likes to help me. So we have the power cable. And I'll take off the divider they put in. And the actual iMac. So let's look this out. There we go. And I just hit my son's little giddy up horse and well, away it goes. So we'll unpack it. Lots of styrofoam. And I guess I shouldn't throw things to that side since the horse is there. You can probably hear that. Now you know what I get to put up with when my son's here deciding he wants to play while well, daddy has to work. <laughs> so let's go ahead we'll unwrap it. Uh, it's a nice solid construction. Now they did warn me that it had a few scratches on it, which is fine. Since I'm running the display off of it, I really don't care what, or oh, sorry, I'm running the live stream off of it. I really don't care what it looks like and what the display is like. And it looks like it has a scratch, but it actually might be able to be buffed out. And it has a crack up in the corner here in the, the frame. Again, I'm not worried. But let's go ahead and plug this in and we'll see if it works. All right, so I've got it plugged in. Uh, I'm using the keyboard and the mouse that came with it. And it's all plugged in and ready to go. So I'm going to fire it up. Now I'm just hanging on to the webcam. Uh, so pardon me if my hands are a little shaky as I haven't had my just got home coffee yet. <laughs> so it looks like it's booting up. Waiting for the little spinning apple to show up. Then again, it might not have an operating system, so if it doesn't, that's fine. 
Uh, we got the dong and you can clearly see some of the white spots down in the bottom and where the scratches are. And there's a few more white spots up top. Uh, it's fine. Like I said, I'm running the live stream off it, so it's not something I'm going to be staring at a lot. And to be honest, even if I did want to look at it a lot, uh, I'd probably use some sort of virtual desktop for it. Uh, I just wanted it for its processing speed, just something that's strong enough to run the live feed off of. But it looks like it needs uh, an operating system, so I'm going to open up my copy of uh, Snow Leopard and I'm going to put the DVD in. Alright, so I've got my copy of Snow Leopard opened and I'm just going to reach over to the side here and put it in. There we go. I've never actually had an IMAX, so I wasn't sure how far to push it in. And it sounds like it's loading. Now I'm not sure if Snow Leopard will actually work on here, but I'm about to find out. And it looks like it's loading. So if it does actually load up and start to install, I'll just pause the video and resume after I've got everything installed. So we got the little spinny wheel, so it looks like everything's going good. All right, so we finished installing the operating system. I could not get the mouse to work, so I've gone ahead and hooked up one of my Logitech mice. Uh, the keyboard worked fine. Uh, the operating system did install, but it did, of course, you know, take a little while to install. And now we're going through our first boot. I have not removed the DVD yet, but it should be fine. Now this is, I believe, a 17-inch display. And I'm not sure what the max resolution is. We can take a look when it starts up. So the speakers work. I haven't had a chance to test the eyesight. Uh, let's just see if we can skip this. Because I'm sure I haven't seen it before. It does look really nice. <laughs> Apparently we can't skip it. All right, I'm going to go ahead and fill up the information, and I'll be right back. All right, so we have the information filled out. My desktop is loading up. I'm going to eject my copy of Snow Leopard. So the eject key on the keyboard does work. And let's just go in and take a look at some of the settings. So there is two gigs of RAM. The process speed is 1.83 gigahertz. Uh, take a little bit more look. Uh, I know the hard drive is 160 gigs. Uh, it does have Wi-Fi. Uh, what speed was the RAM? 667. But I'm going to go ahead and load up all the software I need to run the live stream off of here, and I'm going to give it a test. Uh, if you go to the website and you see the live stream running, you know it worked. Anyway, thanks for watching, and hopefully uh, we'll be using this machine 24-7. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.